Hello everyone, welcome to Nubo Creative Tutorials. Today we have a new typography tutorial in our series and I will show you how to create 3D displacement typography animation in Adobe After Effects without using any third-party plugins. And before we start our tutorial, I want to say thank you to Script Fighter for sponsoring this video. So if you use a lot of fade in and fade out in your projects, Fader is a free After Effects script to fade in and out your layer or multiple layers in one single click and without any keyframes, but only with the power of markers. And as you see in this comparison video, with the help of a Fader script, how quick and easy to create and adjust the fade in and fade out with the help of markers, while in the manual way it takes so much time. So, to see more tools that will save you so much time and effort, make sure to subscribe to Script Fighter YouTube channel. So, after create your composition, and as you see here, in my comp I have this text layer, so just create yours and then let's pre-compose this. So, here I'm going to rename this to text animation and then open this comp here to create animation for this text layer so here i'm going to add opacity and just zero out these and orange selector we're going to animate the offset from minus 100 and around three seconds we're going to see that to 100 so here we're going to have something like this so you can see this animation happen twice we just want it to go for one time so here on advance on shape we're going to change this to ramp up and it's going to fix this problem as you see here so you can see we have a nice uh, opacity animation here and then let's easy easy keyframes and just rename this to organize things to end animation and then we're going to add another opacity here so this one this is going to be 50% and then doing the same thing here so i'm going to animate these from minus 100 to 100 so we have something like this so now you can see we got different opacities on this text layer here as you see and at the end we got 100 percent opacity here and basically it's not what we want so here on advanced we're going to go to the shape again and just ramp down this time so here you can see we got our different opacities there and at the end we got the one that with 50 percent so just easy easy keyframes and this one we're going to rename it to fade animation and now we need to create out animation we're going to use opacity for this one as well zero out the opacity and just animate here the offset so doing the same things here and you can see here at the end we're going to have the same problem so we're going to fix that on shape and here we're going to use ramp down so here let's see all these easy is these keyframes and let's give these a preview here okay so that's what we want so basically we need this variation of these uh, opacities here or of the whites because we need this to be a map so and now we're going to add adjustment layer and let's rename this to blur and then add fast box blur here so we're going to say radius to eight to blur these out and repeat edges so we, we need something like this as you see because this is going to be our map for the displacement so and now let's go back to the main comp here and then create a new solid and this one going to rename it to lines and then add venetian blinds here so basically you can't see anything so let's set transitions to 50 percent and let's just solo it so you can see because it's on black so let's add fill and let's change color here to white and basically we're going to put that 
at the top right there. So here we have direction. So basically you can change direction of these lines and we have width. So let's put direction to 90. So we have horizontal ones here and let's add a linear wipe because we need to create animation for these. So let's add that from top. So here we're going to animate these from 100 to zero and let's just easy ease these keyframes just copy that paste them at the end and just reverse animation here so we have something like this and basically we need to change direction for that so we're going to just add keyframe for this one here so this one we just want it to be one frame before and then just change here direction for the animation here so let's have a preview here so you can see we have that animation something like this as you see very straightforward here and basically i'm going to add some feather here so maybe just this is enough for now and then i'm going to add a new adjustment layer and this one is going to be the 3d um, text displacement map so here we're going to use card dance effect and by adding that you can see anything here so here we have this gradient layer so we're going to select our text animation right there and here we have a few properties so let's go to the z position and here we have source so we have so many different channels to choose from so we're going to choose here intensity one so because this is the creating layer one here. So here we have multiplier and if we just crank up that you can see what's going on there. So here as you see here it looks like we have rows and columns. So here we can change that. So let's just crank up that a little bit here. So now you will see some details right there. So now you can see we got something say 3D typo. So we are close so here basically you can see on the front we have camera here so camera position so let's rotate that to minus 50 and you can see here what's going on so let's just use the multiplier very carefully here so you can see what's going on with the multiplier here we got some very cool effect so let's just use the camera here so basically you can use the comp camera so let's just create one here very quickly to see what's going on so here you can use the camera comp as you see here very cool effect so let's just use our uh, camera position from the effects so here you can see we got the position and so on so let's just put that right there so here you can see the effects we got and if we want that to be very smooth all we need to do is crank up the columns and let's add that for rows as well so now you can see we got some very smooth cool looking effects that's pretty cool and we just need to be very careful about the multiplier here so you need to keep things very subtle so basically here it's worked the same on different position here or rotation using the same uh, text layer but that the effect it will look different so we just need that on the z position and of course uh, i'm going to show you the difference between displacement map effect so if we use the text animation here and we just try to uh, add some displacement you can see here this is a limited displacement here and no matter why you changed here luminance or so it's limited and it doesn't look the same so basically this is kind of fake 3d displacements as you see here and of course we have our animation built in right here it's just slow to render so 
for a render let's give things uh you can see here how smooth is this so let's just put there 500 and 100 just to render that very quickly and let's preview this to see how it looks like So as you see, this look pretty cool here. So we can see the animation right there. And so we're going to add a second displacement for this. So first, let's just create a new solid here. And it's going to be, uh, let's just ring these gradient. And then we're going to pre-compose this. So this is going to be our map. And then we're going to open these. So here i'm going to just create a mask for this one so let's use gradient gradient ramp here and let's just have something like this very simple straightforward so here we're going to animate the position for this so let's actually put that at the top and then at around three seconds we're going to just animate this something like this it's easy easy these keyframes and just add expression here so we're going to use a loop out animation here so it's going to keep animating like this and then we're going to add another adjustment layer and basically the same thing here we're going to use fast box blur just put their eight and let's repeat edges maybe we can crank up that a little bit more something like this basically so this is going to be the map we're going to use right here we don't need it to be Right here, so let's add a new adjustment layer, and this is going to be 3D transition map. So we're going to use card dance effects again, and right here we're going to use this map this time, and on the Z we're going to use intensity as well. So we can see what's going on here. So we're going to keep the multiplier very uh, low here so let's just actually work on these by itself so you can see what we have here so the kind of animation we're going to have something like these and we need to smooth these of course so let's just put here one hand and then we don't need actually columns so we're going to have smooth animation for this as you see here that's look pretty cool and if we just active here the camera for this one so let's see that from the side here so you can see what we have here very cool effects so now we're going to have that with the 3D effect. So here on the camera, we can just zoom these a little bit here. And so now let's preview this and see how it looks like. So that's it guys, hope you get the idea and find this tutorial very useful for you as always and if you have any questions just comment and I will do my best to be responsive and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials 
coming soon and also to download the free tool is a fader scripts for After Effects to fade in and out your layer or multiple layers in one single click and without any keyframes but only with the power of markers. And for more tools that will save you so much time and effort, make sure to subscribe to Script Fighter YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.